हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू एप्टीट्यूड जैब दिस इज अ सेट बेस्ड ऑन अ स्टैक बार ग्राफ इट सेज दैट वल्लभ इज अ वाइस स्पेंडर ही मेक्स अ लिस्ट ऑफ इज नॉन रेगुलर एक्सपेंसेस एवरी मंथ एंड द ग्राफ बिलो गिव्स द नॉन रेगुलर एक्सपेंसेस फॉर अ ड्यूरेशन ऑफ सिक्स मंथ्स ओके एज यू कैन सी दैट नॉट ऑल वैल्यूज आर प्रेजेंट एवरीवेयर लाइक ओ टी इज प्रेजेंट ओनली टू टाइम्स pet care is present two times and house repair is present just once okay so that need not that uh, every expense is made every month okay uh, now we are given that all the individual expenses are rounded off to the nearest 100 so all these values are rounded off to the nearest 100 the total expense in every month is less than 10000 ott recharge is a fixed quarterly expense so you can see that he paid in february and in may so that means this value will be equal to this value okay uh, the difference between the pet care expenses is 300 so we have a pet care expense in january and another expense in june so the difference between them is uh, 300 and one of these is half of the one time ott recharge expense so any of these will be half of this or this might be half of this the miscellaneous expenses in april were half of those in january so miscellaneous is the green one so that is half of that in january okay so it's all about the ratios and applying the right percentages now how to start this set uh, if you look at these values all months have uh, like percentages 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 uh, in may if we see there are three expenses and these percentages look somewhat familiar to us right 33.33 30% 36.67% let us convert them to fractions right 36.67% would mean if you take uh, 36.67 into 3 If you multiply this by three, it will give us hundred and ten by three. If you multiply this by three, this will give you hundred. Okay, so can I say this is hundred by three, and this is ninety by three? If we just take this, can we say these are in the ratio this? So we can say that these expenses are in the ratio eleven ratio ten ratio nine. Okay, so these are expenses in this ratio. Now this means now these are all rounded off to the nearest hundred. so let us assume that the expenses are 900 1000 and uh, 1100 okay so let us assume this thing now this expense should be equal to this expense because it is given that the ott recharge is a fixed quarterly expense which happened in february and now will happen in may so suppose we assume that this is also 1000 now it is 40% and the total expense in february will be in that case will be 2500 because it is 40% of total right so we are assuming that this is 3000 now if we see this uh this looks fine but these will be in decimals these expenses have to be multiples of 100 if we consider 2500 these will be in decimals so we obviously know ki agar 0.33 hota hai that if you multiply by 3 times it becomes an integer let's say if you have x 0.33% so this means this expenditure should be a multiple of 3 also right this total expenditure should be a multiple of 3 so what if we multiply this by 3 we will get 7500 अब थ्री से बड़ा सिक्स होता है सिक्स से मल्टीप्लाई नहीं कर सकते बिकॉज इफ यू मल्टीप्लाई बाय सिक्स दिस विल बी मोर देन टेन थाउजेंड राइट इट इज इट शुड बी लेस देन टेन थाउजेंड सो द थिंग दैट वी कैन गेट इज दिस विल बी सेवन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड फोर्टी परसेंट इज थ्री थाउजेंड ठीक है सो दिस मीन्स ये भी थ्री टाइम्स हो जाएंगे सो थ्री थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी सेवन हंड्रेड एंड देन थर्टी थ्री हंड्रेड राइट सो इन मे द एक्सपेंसिस नाइन थाउजेंड एंड हेयर द एक्सपेंसिस Seven thousand five hundred, right? Okay, so now we can answer this question also. What is the one-time OTT recharge expense? That is of three thousand. Okay, all right. So uh, now let us see other things as well. This we have figured out. This we have figured out. Now what else is given to us? That the difference between pet care expenses is three hundred, and one of these is half of the one-time OTT recharge. So one-time OTT recharge is three hundred. Sorry, three thousand. So the pet care expenses, one of them will be fifteen hundred. Okay. Second will be either to eighteen hundred or twelve hundred. 
ये चीज पता चल गई सो नाउ लेट एस अज्यूम की ये फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड है ओके सो इफ यू टेक फिफ्टीन दिस वन एज फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड वॉट विल हैपन इज टोटल एक्सपेंस विल बिकम टेन थाउजेंड If we assume that this one is fifteen hundred, one of them has to be fifteen hundred, so this will become ten thousand, which is not possible because it is less than ten thousand. So that means this is not possible as fifteen hundred. This expense is going to be fifteen hundred. So fifteen hundred is twenty five percent. That is one fourth. So the January expenses will be six thousand, right? Now this expense, we figured out this has to be eighteen hundred or twelve hundred. So if we say eighteen hundred. Eighteen hundred fifteen percent. So eighteen by fifteen is uh, like we get twelve thousand. In if you consider eighteen hundred, then the expense comes out to be twelve thousand, which is not possible. So this means this value is twelve hundred, and the expense here is eight thousand. So this also has been figured out. Now we are left with March and April. Okay, for these one more hint is given that the miscellaneous expenses in April were half of those in January. Okay, now miscellaneous expenses in January will be six hundred. So this means this miscellaneous expense is three hundred. Three hundred is four point six two percent. You have to find hundred percent expense. राइट right. अच्छा थोड़ा रफ एस्टिमेट करते हैं फाइव परसेंट इज वन बाई ट्वेंटी सो फाइव परसेंट का हो जाता सिक्स थाउजेंड अगर ये फाइव परसेंट होता तो सिक्स थाउजेंड होता एंड फोर परसेंट इज सो सिक्स थाउजेंड से थोड़ा ज्यादा आना चाहिए राइट इट शुड बी समथिंग ग्रेटर देन सिक्स थाउजेंड सो वन थिंग इज दैट वी कैन यूज सम गेस वर्क अदरवाइज द बेस्ट थिंग इज टू टू इराडिकेट एनी कंफ्यूजन लेट एस जस्ट डिवाइड थ्री बाई फोर सिक्सटी टू Right, so we if we divide four sixty to three, so of course we will get six times. So this is two seventy six and uh, two seven seven two. We will get two two eight. Again, we can say that this is five times, roughly five times. Right, forty six into five is twenty three hundred. So roughly, since this is not uh, like it is just up to two decimal places, right? So can we say it is? Roughly sixty-five times, roughly. So it might be as see, it is all are rounded up to the nearest hundred. So this must be six thousand five hundred because these are nearest hundred, right? So if you calculate the other way round, if you calculate three by sixty-five, you should be able to get four point six two. And three by sixty-five means six by one thirty. Okay, thirteen into four is. Uh, Fifty-two eight. That is six seventy-eight. Okay, and then we have uh, twenty. That is one. So four point one six. Uh, then five. So that is why it is rounded off to four point six two. Right. So that justifies that this expense is going to be six thousand five hundred. Right. So this is also done. Now, this expense was that. How do we determine this expense? See. One thing is, if we see the percentages, is point seven five, point two five. So it has to a multiple of four. Right. So if we multiply all these values by four, what do we get? We get thirty. Uh, Let us say total expense is four hundred. Right. So just taking an expense, so four hundred. This will be one twenty five. Okay. So if we take the expense as four thousand. Let us say we take four thousand. So this will be three hundred one two five zero, and thirty three is one three five zero. And this will come as twenty seven point five will come as eleven hundred, right? Now these are all not multiples of hundred. So in order to make these numbers as multiples of hundred, we will multiply this by two. So if we consider the total expenses eight thousand, this will be six hundred twenty five hundred twenty seven hundred, and this will be twenty two hundred. So that justifies, right? Since we are given this thing that all these are multiples of hundred and this is less than ten thousand, so this makes sense that this value is going to be eight thousand. We could have started with this as well, right? But uh, this was a link, so I started using this. So this will be eight thousand, and these are the expenses. So this is how we will determine the expenses. Now let us answer the question: What is the least expense in any of the given months? So that is six thousand. What is the difference between the house repair expense and the pet care expenses? So pet care expenses is twenty fifteen hundred plus twenty twelve hundred. That is twenty seven hundred. And house care expenses in this month. 
which is 31.25 or we calculated here 2500. So 27 minus 2500, the difference is of 200 rupees. The utility expense is the highest in the month of. So again, a common trap, people see the highest percentage and mark the answer. No. If we see the expense here is 6,500, here the expense is 8,000. So obviously, 46.5% of 2.5% uh, is going to be much higher than uh, this, right? So similar, almost similar percentages, but see the drastic increase in the expense. Now here it is 36.67%, right? So let us just because it is also 9000 so we know this was 3300 okay and this is 46.25 uh, this is going to be uh, 45 into uh, this is 360 so 360 and 1.25 370 so 3700 okay so this is the highest in june okay what is the minimum dining out expense in any of the months so this requires you to calculate all these and see that dining out expense Achha, so we can also eliminate possibilities ki yahan pe thoda jada percentage hai. it is also high percentage 30 30 so this this cannot be the lowest okay uh, probably this one of these could be low because it's just 25.33 this is uh, 20 7.5 uh, this this cannot be the lowest because ye percentage bhi bad hai aur overall bhi bad hai. Okay, this is out of 6500 but ha very high percentage okay so probably this will be the lowest okay so just calculate it because see this is not the lowest because is it 30 percent and this is 25.33 out of 7500 so uh, if we multiply by 3 we get 76 okay uh, 76 and uh, then we need to multiply by two and a half times also 76 into two and a half is uh, 19 so 1900 aajega. Okay, in order to multiply, make it like, how do we do is 0.33 we multiply by 3 to get an integer. So that comes as uh, 76 and since it is 7500, 3 into 2.5, right? So 2.5 into, like into 2.5 means division by 4. Okay, so 76 divided by 4, 19. So it is going to be 1900. So this is the answer will be 1900. You can check for other values. They should be more than 1900 for sure. The miscellaneous expenses in January and March are in the ratio. So miscellaneous here is 600 and in uh, March, so in March it is 600 again. Okay, 7.5% is 600. So the ratio is 1 ratio 1. So this is the solution to the set and the answers to the questions. I hope you loved this set uh, because it involved a uh, good amount of calculation and some logical thinking about numbers. So don't forget to like this video.